Hello reformers and welcome back to a world of ice and fire. Now, when we left off, we actually made our way over to Westeros and I thought to myself, okay, this is going to be great. We're going to help out House Targaryen to establish their foothold in the land. And then I thought, okay, you know, I might return back to Essos and try and consolidate the rest of Essos to be my own little kingdom, I, I guess you could say. I mean, we've actually turned into a kingdom, if you can believe it. I actually cannot. It's been quite kind of a, well, not not really a roller coaster ride, but it's been very, very quick, hasn't it? We've been able to create our own faction very fast. Well, maybe it's not that fast for me, but maybe may fast for you. Anyway, point is, look at this. <laughs> yes, I have a very successful spy in the garrison here. He has done an absolutely amazing job and I will be able to head in here straight away and be like, hello, please surrender. And there you go. You will be ransomed and your soldiers will live. All right, so we now get the opportunity to take some prisoners here. I, I Well, technically rescue prisoners. And I suppose I'm gonna do that because I feel like what we should do is in in the vicinity, and unless, that's the thing, if, if things come to be kind of bad here in Westeros, then what I'm going to do is I will think to give these units to one of the House Targaryen vassals and then just go away, you know, just go, go away to Essos and that's it. But basically what I want to do here is take as many units as I can get my hands on because I'd like to be able to take as many gold cloaks as possible because as far as I'm aware gold cloaks are going to be the most expensive to sell oh veteran veteran gold cloaks I didn't know they had those please join me thank you very much arbalesters might also be really really good too but you know what I'm going to take a couple of arbalesters just to see whether my decision to take gold cloaks was a good idea or not but in the grand scheme of things, we have a lot of money. We are using a lot of money, but we are getting a lot as well. So anyway, there you go. Let's let's bury all of those people. And technically, I can take all these helms and everything. My food situation is going okay so far. Technically, I can go into the marketplace right here, and then we'll have an absolutely fine time. Now, the one thing about taking King's Landing. This is basically the pinnacle. This is the linchpin, shall we say, of the whole operation. Basically, what we want to do with King's Landing is we want to take every single one of our imprisoned lords, and we've got a whole bunch of them back in Volantis. As far as I'm aware, I have mm, maybe three, four, maybe even five lords there that have yet to gain a ransom or have yet to uh, be be released. But uh, I could I could be misremembering that, so who knows? Maybe we are. Uh, not going to have that but at the very least what we can do then is if we do capture some enemies in our conquests in Essos then of course we will be able to send those lords to reinforce the Night's Watch. Now I know what you're thinking. Wasn't your original idea way back when to destroy the Night's Watch? Well yeah that's the point. I did initially want to destroy the Night's Watch mainly because it just makes sense, you know. I'm I'm part of the free folk. Elias wants to destroy their enemies and so on and so forth. But we became disgruntled. We became disgruntled with with the uh, the leadership of Mans Raider, and as a result, we left the free folk to venture out and do our own thing for the most part. And that's exactly what we have done here. So as you can see, I have a uh, deferred appointment of a lord here for a very good reason, because of course, I do not want to, uh, I do not want to give this to anyone. I want to give this to myself eventually. But uh, yeah, basically what I'm going to do is right away, as soon as I get back to Volantis, I'm going to give this to myself, obviously. But the main reason why I'm not doing that right now is because I wanted these units to get into the garrison immediately because if the enemy, which I'm assuming they are going to, if the enemy appears and wants to take this back from us, then of course it's going to be a pretty harsh fight. So being able to have as many units available as possible would be a really, really good way to go. So we're going to just place all these guys in here. And, uh, oh yeah, by the way, in the previous episode, I had some problems with spies. Yeah, I actually did have spies 
in my uh, in my army, as you can see here, I actually had twenty six. This is exactly the basically exactly the same army as I had in the previous episode. But the difference is the reason why I wasn't able to use spies. Uh, thanks to those of you in the comments that actually commented this, and it was basically the fact that I have too many spies in various towns and castles across the land. So that was it. There, I, I had reached the limit of how many spies I could use at any one time. So I did not know that there was a limit, so it's nice to know that there is. And uh, thankfully, I have now recalled most of my spies. And it doesn't seem like there's anything going on in the garrison here. So... We will be able to speak to Thoros in just a second. Now, here's the thing. He's got such good stats that I have no idea what to level him up in. And it, I don't think he's actually leveled up that much before anyway, anyway. So, anyway, anyway. Mm, double anyway. Very good. Anyway, the point is, is that I don't exactly know what to give him. I could give him some more power strike. I could give him some more riding skill. I could... Give him some more agility, and then I could get some more shield for him, I guess. That's probably the best idea. Being able to prevent his shield from being destroyed that quickly is going to be a pretty decent thing for him. And I was hoping that I could find a ransom broker in here, but unfortunately I was unable to. So obviously I'm just going to have to make do. All right, so I thought you might want to take a look-see at uh, this fellow right here, who is a pyromancer. I was actually just going to speak to him just to see what he was actually doing here, and I thought he would just give me one line, like, oh, I'm busy, buzz off, you know, kind of thing. But he's actually giving us a little bit of information about the wildfire, and as you can see, he says, yes, yes, others may call it wildfire, but we pyromancers call it the substance. How could I obtain this wildfire? Well, my friend, due to its, uh, let's say, volatile nature, only the king himself can instruct me to create such magic for him. Well, uh, I am, I am actually technically the, the lord slash king of King's Landing, so, ah, uh, oh well, never mind. I will leave. All right, so the king, huh? Hmm. Well, I assume that means Joffrey, I guess, because... He's technically the liege of, of King's Landing. Or, the, well, shall we say the liege of, of the Westerlands. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that seems to be it. There doesn't seem to be anything else I can do here. And uh, I actually wonder whether Lord Varys is actually here still. He is! Oh, hello, Lord Varys. I am now the the lord of this this uh, f this town. Uh, uh, he says it doesn't say much. Oh, well, I shall leave you to your work. There we go. Fantastic. I'm actually really pleased that we were able to take that so incredibly easily. All right, so uh, I'm actually unsure what I should do now, to be honest, because I know I said, yes, we should probably head back to, uh, you know, to Essos, basically. And uh, there's one of my spies, by the way. Do you see that? Cautious Traveler or whatever they're called? Yeah, pretty weird, isn't it? It's pretty weird that it's called Cautious Traveler. And uh, go spy on someone. My forces are too large at the moment. You really must learn to count properly, my lord. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's funny. Why Why are my forces too too large? I, I do have enough space. What? That, oh, that's interesting. Oh, they're taking this. They are actually taking this. Oh, this is this is very interesting. Uh, hmm. Well, you know what? I'm actually not going to help them right now because they are doing an absolutely fine job as it is. So it's not actually necessary for me to help them. So let's go into the inn here real quick because I would like to find a ransom broker. Ah. Maybe now you have some prisoners for me to take back to the wall. So technically, he's going to give me money. He's going to give me money uh, to take them to the Night's Watch. That might actually make sense. So why not? Let's do it. He's going to give me 16,000. He does give me a little bit of relation. But, I mean, 16,000, I probably would have gotten a lot more from a ransom broker. Maybe. But to take some units and place them in the Night's Watch is going to be really useful for when the White Walkers actually start invading. Because I have been told by some of you in the comments actually that if I don't prepare reasonably well, uh, well, we're going to get murdered. We're going to get murdered. So I'm hopeful that what I will be able to do is maybe take some Westerland's vassal's prisoner or something like that. I, I, I was actually hoping to try and find some now, but it seems like we're having some difficulties with that in general because, yes, House Targaryen is 
walking all over the place right here and doing absolutely fine. Actually, you know what? I, I actually did call for a campaign as well. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to end the campaign right away. And instead, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and take antlers, if at all possible. If I can take antlers, then I will be able to give that to one of my vassals. And you know what? I'm actually going to make someone else a vassal when we have that new fief. And I think I'm probably going to make... I think Maya. Maya is probably going to be... She's got really good looting, but we don't really loot that much anyway. Mm. Actually, you know what? Let's make Brienne. Let's make Brienne one of our vassals. I think that's going to be a good idea. And she's going to have antlers over here. So I'm actually just going to send a spy in there real quick. I actually got seen by them, so it's probably not going to work out too well. But we'll, we'll try it, and we'll see. Uh, apparently it's infiltrating Rosby as well. I, I have no idea. Retrieve, thank you very much. I don't know why you're going in there. There we go. Yes, return to the ranks. I'm, I'm getting all these spies back. Oh! What's he doing here? What's he doing here? Do you see that guy right there? That's a Lorathi vassal. He is being kind of annoying, isn't he? Uh, there's House Targaryen. He's actually running after him. That's good. Alright, so let's see whether we're going to be as lucky as I was in King's Landing because it was my first spy that I sent in. He was that successful that he was basically just able to just do all, all, all that I needed him to do without any problems whatsoever. Pretty crazy. All right, let's do it. Okay, are you gonna, are you gonna be, oh, he did it, he did it. Can you, can you imagine, oh, crazy. Okay, let's, let's see if he can do the next one without being spotted. 7,400 added to the treasury just there. No, there... Are you serious right now? Uh, Dawn. Dawn, hey, come on now, Dawn. Get, get, get out of here. Get out of here. This is mine. You... <laughs> uh, yeah, they would do that, wouldn't they? And now the food stocks have been poisoned as well, so there's only two enemies. Can I actually go in here? No. No, I... See, disguising myself and sneaking in is not going to do anything. These guys coming along are going to have the easiest time in the whole world. Okay, you know what? Retrieve my spy, thank you very much. That was bad. That was really bad. Okay, well maybe we can get Harren Hall then. Harren Hall is just over here. So, let's try and do that. Now... Basically, the reason why I'm doing this is so that we can have a presence in the form of a vassal over here without me having to do any jiggery-pokery in regards to my other vassals. Because I don't know whether you've noticed, but my other vassals are extremely, uh, shall we say, passive when it comes to dealing with any kind of campaign. They, they generally do not help me en masse. There's like maybe one or two that actually help me, but I do have about six or five vassals now, so it should theoretically give me a lot more, but unfortunately the land of Essos is, I suppose, kind of difficult. But, well, that's exactly the reason. So, that's the reason why I'm being a bit careful here and wanting to... Oh, yes, this is going to be harsh, isn't it? Uh, talk about being extremely lucky to actually take a spy and, and put him right in there and now Dawn has taken that. Well, that's the thing. I suppose it's not even that bad. If we can eliminate the entirety of the Westerlands and it doesn't matter really who has the fief, even though it would make more sense for me to have it because, well, I'm slightly more intelligent than the AI and I'm, I'm only saying slightly here. Oh, there's Roland. I should probably attack him soon, but I want to get my spy infiltrating perfectly here. Got to be a bit worried about my morale as well, so that's obviously a thing. Okay, is he done? Yeah, he's done. Okay, so fantastic. He might actually get this done this time around. I'd be very, very surprised if he does. I wonder whether Roland is actually in the garrison here. Is he? He is. I think that's the main reason why he's actually, well, shall we say why my spy is actually being discovered because if it wasn't due to him, I think we would probably be okay. Are they? Wow. House Targaryen is actually besieging Harren Hall as well. I'm very surprised. 
Right. Well, this is interesting, isn't it? Ah, Brindlewood has actually been uh, being raided right now, so I should probably go over there and eliminate that Tairoshi vassal because he's being kind of annoying. Yeah, these guys are running around with literally like 40 units, and they are so incredibly fast. You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, this is my garrison, technically, kind of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my archers all in here. And I'm going to place my Unsullied all in here as well, and all my spies. I'm just going to run around with 159. I should be faster than them now, thanks to me having huge amounts of cavalry. So let's have a look. Uh, Lorathi Vassal as well. How, how fast am I in comparison to them? 3.8? They are 4. Point <sighs> they are still faster. They are still faster. Okay, I'm not going to be able to catch them like this then. Ah, uh, that is... That is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. Okay, so I guess what I'm going to do is I will just use Exiled Knights. I have 90 now. Am I faster than them? I should be faster than them. How much is my pathfinding? After all, I have 7, technically. I'm, run I'm moving at 7.0 speed now. He's moving at 7.4. Really? Well, I guess it does make sense, considering he does have much smaller army. Oh, never mind. Okay, apparently we're going to be doing this. All right, so I'm actually wondering, can I make peace with them? No, unfortunately, I can't make peace with them. I was hopeful that I would be able to because they are basically done. They are scattered to the wind and they basically have no power whatsoever now. But it's going to be kind of interesting to fight with such a small army. I mean, it's been a long time since we've fought with such a small army, that's for sure. So it might make sense for us to uh, have a bit of fun. So let's see if I can uh, get a nice wedge formation going on here and tell them to follow me. Don't really mind too much about where my companions go because they are all, well, they're all perfectly fine with doing whatever they want to do. So that's all very well and good for me. Now, to talking about the White Walkers. Basically, the one thing that I want to try and do is I want to make it so that we have, shall we say, a number of units that are capable of actually dealing damage to White Walkers. And obviously, the only ones that I know of are... Let me see if I can remember correctly here. The Night's Watch Rangers. So, Night's Watch Rangers will be able to do that because I think they generally will have fire arrows available. And then you have... Anyone that's using a Valyrian sword, of course, and I believe that there are a number of hero units that can use Valyrian swords. So if you do take them prisoner, for example, I'm I'm wondering whether Gregor Clegane, I don't know whether he actually comes with a special sword that would allow him to damage White Walkers, but I know that there are some vassals that do have Valyrian swords. So that might be an option for us to try and hunt those guys down and try and take them prisoner and send them to the wall as a result. So that might be an idea. Otherwise, what else do we have? Well, giants, of course. Giants can deal damage to White Walkers. And am I missing anything else? I think I think that's basically it. I think uh, I think there's actually something else I'm missing, but I'm I'm forgetting it annoyingly enough. So I do apologize about that, but well, yeah. So anyway, Night's Watch Rangers. That's going to be a thing that we might want to pursue as we go forward because even though I'm not a big fan of utilizing another kind of unit that we don't necessarily have access to if you know what I mean so for example right now I'm using exiled knights I'm using veteran free riders I'm using well Valantine archers they are all accessible to someone like Elias who has literally just invaded and uh, you know has access to all these things but having access to Night's Watch that's a bit more difficult in my opinion so anyway what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna leave all of these units in the garrison here and I'm actually gonna go back through the use of my ships over to Volantis and I'll see if we do have any lords in the garrison there and if we don't then that's obviously gonna be a bit of an issue but then, at the very least, we will be able to attack somewhere else. Alright, so we have returned to King's Landing, and I have done everything that I set out to do. And, well, we have now the option to send one lord. Yes, unfortunately, I only had one lord there. And I'm actually unsure how I'm supposed to do this. So, yes, just bear with me real quick. Uh, hmm. Do I have to actually... 
Maybe I have to speak to the, the Night's Watch fellows. That might make sense. Have a good day. Uh, that, I bet that's not the only thing little about you. Ah, uh, yes, very good. It was given to me by a tully boy, rather creative back in his day. He chose it for me because of my size, that and the fact I grew up on the smallest peninsula of the Vale. The name was cruel enough to stick, but I've grown rather fond of it. Oh, well, that's very nice of you. All right, so unfortunately, it seems like I am unable... Is that the guy? Yeah, that might be the fellow. Ah. Pleasure's meeting you, my king. Do you require me to train you some gold cloaks for the city guard? It will cost you 5,000 stacks for training and equipping 15 of them. Yeah, I assume that the gold cloaks are also potentially good against the White Walkers, because as far as I'm aware, there are these other, other units called Fire Priests, and I believe those guys are also effective against White Walkers. Anyway, I suggest you get... get, get blah, blah, blah. Yes, get, get to work, thanks. <laughs> ah, very good. Speaking is difficult, apparently. Anyway, let's go into the inn here. Because I, this is mine, as you can see. You're greeted by men loyal to you. You know exactly what's going on there. And, uh, yeah, I should technically... Oh, right. Someone's obviously really annoyed that I uh, took over from the wonderful previous owners. Oh, hello, free folk. Are you serious? Why, why, are you, why are you wanting to kill me? Are you serious? Oh, well, I guess it's maybe because I have not actually, you know, fulfilled promises that I made a long time ago. But it takes a long time to form a kingdom, you know? It takes a very long time. Anyway, it seems like these fellows don't really know what's up. Wow. That was... Easy enough. Done? Are we done? Oh, no. Oh, hello. Okay, he's dead. Okay, I'm actually just going to tell everyone to charge in because you never know where the rest of the units are going to be. This is actually a rather extensive attack. Usually the thieves or bandits that attempt to attack you in these kinds of scenarios will only have, I don't know, three, four maximum? But they've seemingly had about six so far that have wanted to come out of the woodwork and murder me. So, yeah, that is kind of interesting. Anyway, hopefully I will be able to go into the inn here because I think there is a uh, there is definitely a Night's Watch person in there, and it might make sense for me to speak to them. So maybe that would be an idea. I'm actually unsure where where everyone's going. Why are you following me, Thoros? Ah, I can't leave still. Okay, guess I'm gonna have to search around the streets a little bit more. Alright, so there you go. It seems like there were a couple that wanted to murder me, and they were just kind of hiding behind a place, so it wasn't really anything to worry about there. And uh, for the life of me, I can't figure out where to go. Ah, here we go. This might actually be something here. The Great Sept of Baal. Some, something tells me this is probably not the right way to go. Alright, so I, I don't know. I, I have no idea where to go to send, uh, send people to the wall, but I guess what we're going to do is that we're going to just... Uh, it's a veteran gold cloak. Right, yeah, so I actually have no idea. So I'm going to look this up because obviously I'm recording right now. I can't really look it up. And uh, yeah, I'm going to look it up and we will be doing that in the next episode, sending one guy to the wall. He will become a vassal for the Night's Watch and hopefully be able to reinforce and defend against the oncoming wave of White Walkers. But of course, well... That's not the only thing we're going to be doing. We're going to be attempting to take the rest of Essos, because it seems like the Westerlands is being dismantled relatively easily. And otherwise, I thank you very much for joining me, and for watching, and I will see you next time.